All right, you guys, so today I'm going to be jumping back into a renovation series that I started a few weeks ago, but I kind of abandoned it. So if you guys have been watching my channel for about the last month, then you know I started this renovation series where I renovated these low-income apartments slash the projects. And I renovated three of them, and then I kind of abandoned it. So these are the buildings right here. It's four buildings. They are each two apartments, and they all are two bedrooms, one bathroom. All right, so we were only on the second building, and as you guys can see, we already started the, well, we actually completed the first first apartment in this building and yeah this is what it looks like so let's just go up a little step and go to the second floor and start on this apartment so like I mentioned you guys in each building I'm gonna be doing a different cabinet different floor and I might switch up the paint swatch I'm not sure but in this building right here we went with the parenthood pack cabinets and we used that in both apartments but we switched it up and over here we're gonna do a different cabinet in different floor like I mentioned so I forgot which pack these cabinets are from but I use them in this this apartment and I'm gonna use those same cabinets in this next apartment but just in a different color with, with different floor colors all right so let's just grab the sledgehammer and remove everything out of here grab some lights and place all throughout and then get straight into this remodel okay so down here we went a little darker with the wood floors so up i'm going with a lighter color and i'm gonna just run that all throughout except for in that bathroom and like i mentioned this is low income apartment slash the project so i'm just going to use the basic standard paint swatch and i'm going to use it in this white color all throughout in this kitchen we're not going to go too crazy i'm just going to use two of these full tile cabinets and then a corner cabinet here and i'm going to run this down three on this back wall i'm going to turn on bb.move object and right here align with these cabinets gonna draw a wall grab one of those cabinets turn on half a towel and place it against there and i'm gonna place two of those and then grab the island cabinets and place on the back side of that okay so here in the middle i'm gonna move that cabinet slide this london choice stove there and then on this end i'm gonna remove this cabinet and place my refrigerator here. i might actually add a cabinet so i'm gonna just slide that down one and place a cabinet there oh no, i didn't slide that refrigerator down enough okay right there man I just feel like that's a little bit too far out and then we still need to place the door here so I'm gonna remove that cabinet and place this little half a cabinet there and I need to change the color that okay so now we can slide the refrigerator over just a little bit more and now I can place my upper cabinets in here so I'm gonna place a half a towel above the refrigerator close out here go corner cabinet there and I forgot we did that little half a cabinet there oh I know what I can use to fill that space so I'm gonna just slide this cabinet down one and then in between there we can place two immaculate shelvings like that and then go full towel there and full towel there i need to pull out one down one and then we're gonna go a full towel here but raised up just a little bit all right so with these upper cabinets in that island i want to go with a darker color so i'm gonna go with this dark brown with the brown head with the lighter brown handles up top and we're gonna do that same color on this island and i'm not even gonna lie right now i can't really think of any other towel backsplash to use in this kitchen so for now i'm just gonna place this white backsplash but i'm thinking about changing this up before the video ends all right so in this little island i'm gonna place my sink there oh and it's interfering with that so i need to pull this island cabinet out just a little bit place a dishwasher on this end and slot a door right here in the middle and then on the end of this i think we should just go ahead and place a wall here too all right so let's go ahead and place our windows in this living room um in this one right here i might go with a different fireplace than what i did in the last one so maybe i'll just go one window in here then draw my fireplace cross here like that and i can actually still add another window right beside that so on this fireplace place i'm gonna go with this very neat brick of course like always grab this black window in place there centered at the bottom raise the platform up inside this twice black out the inside and place gravel flooring in the bottom all right so i'm gonna go ahead and place this curved tv on this fireplace and i need to shrink it down one time and i think the best fit for a couch in this living room is a sectional so maybe we use something like this like right here use these little armless pieces like two of them place a wedge here and and then go on down with these armless pieces okay so i'm not even i'm horrible with decorating like if you was a subscriber for a while you know i always say this in every video but i'm horrible with decorating um i'm still gonna do that series like i mentioned but let's try to find a perfect rug for in here okay so after a few minutes of trying to find a perfect rug i think this is the perfect one but i'm trying to decide what size should i do it and should i do it catty corner like that towards the fireplace oh i need to pull it back or should i do it like that okay i feel like that fits perfectly all right so we got the perfect little coffee table and i think i want to shrink it down one and use it in all white because i can't find another color that will match with this so i'm gonna use it in all white and then i'm gonna just place like this little tree back here in this corner 
corner and maybe I should have slid this couch up just a little more and stick like a little nice white accent table to match with the coffee table behind it. I'll take this flower right here, raise it up and shrink it down, place on top of this table and then stick this mirror on this back wall. Okay, so that's our living room space. In the dining room, we're not gonna go too crazy. I'm gonna just use this little white table right here and then use some chairs that match that couch around it. And then I'm gonna just remove this chair right here off the end because this is where the door for the balcony is supposed to go. So I'm gonna just stick a slot into up here. And you know thing, we can use something a little bit bigger. I know this is a little big, but I feel like this door right here will fit perfectly right here. All right, so just like I did down here in this apartment, I'm gonna make this bathroom up here a little bit bigger. And while I got this perfect idea for this layout, I'm gonna just go ahead and lay this out. So I wanna do a cabinet here, corner cabinet there. And then of course, I'm gonna place another one of those cabinets here. So I'm gonna do a wall in between that and a shower tub combo. And I'll slide a toilet right beside that. And then just like in all the other apartments, I'm gonna do a nice little laundry room in here. All right, so we'll just take a archway on the front of this and then grab the stack washer and dryer and place in here and i'm gonna keep this window above this toilet i'm gonna just lower it down some and change the color to all black and then i'll probably just go with these limestone tile floors in this bathroom and i know you guys are probably about to hate me for this but i'm gonna do a sink bill hack in here so i'm just gonna take this sink right here place it raise it up once and slide it right in there like that and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side and run these long led mirrors all along these back walls all right so that's our bathroom let's move on to these bedrooms and these bedrooms it's gonna be pretty simple i'm gonna just paint these windows black and both of them and then just go simple in these bedrooms both of these are the same size but i'm gonna claim this one as the master bedroom so i'm gonna just place this little bed here and i can't find no nice things that's the same color as this but this is the closest i'm gonna get to that so i'll place this one here and the other one here i'm gonna do a little accent wall in this bedroom and then the little lights hanging down from the ceiling and i'm gonna do that on both sides and at the foot of this bed i'm gonna just do this simple i'm gonna just place a dresser down here and stick a tv above it all right so in this master bedroom this is now come so now we can move over here to this guest slash kids room in this kids room i'm probably gonna stick two twin size beds in this brown color so i'll stick one there and one here and i'm trying to find a bigger nice thing that matches with the beds but this is the only one that matches with that color a little bit okay maybe we can just go with this so i'm gonna place that in the middle a tv right there up on the wall and then a dresser below it that matches the beds and i need to raise this tv up a little bit because this dresser is a little bit bigger than the other one that i usually use and then on this wall over here i want to decorate a little bit so i'm gonna stick a picture here I'm trying to think of what else i could do in here maybe i'll just stick one of these lamps on each side because you can't put no picture here because of that window and on the exterior of this one i think i want to go with this same little siding in the middle and then on each one i'll just change the bottom color i feel like that'll make everything blend together so we'll place this in the middle up top we'll go with the same color that i use on the bottom and we'll do white trimming up there and i need to paint the inside of this i forgot and and then place some white half wall trimming on top of this or should i do like i did over there and change it to a roof okay yeah that's what we'll do comment if i should do the same thing on the other two when i remodel those should i do a half gable roof on the other two or should i just leave it with the half wall trimming because i see a lot of people in the comment section be saying like don't make major changes like changing the roof or making the house bigger or smaller so if you guys want to see me change that or leave it the same drop down in the comment section so now i need to paint that oh and i forgot to remove the half wall trimming out the middle of this so we can still remove that add a new sheet metal roof pattern and some white roof trimming okay i'm not even lying. this building looks pretty decent i would have went with a different color on it but i feel like i want all of them to kind of look similar but a little bit different so on the bottom of each one i'm gonna just go with a different color so we got a little bit left we gotta do first thing i need to do is fix this little fence in here and here add the matching stair railing and then a white step okay so for the top floor you won't be able to into the yard unless you walk around the building but i'm gonna just go ahead and grab that same fencing and draw a little yard around here so we'll do it from here to like right here because i don't want this to be too big put some sand back here and i'm gonna leave half of it grass so i'll stick this little swing on the grass part and then just simply stick a few bikes back here so i'll place like three bikes back here and we need to add the fencing door all right so that's the little side yard for this upper level um i'm trying to make sure i didn't miss any 
anything. Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to show you guys the finished product of that house renovation because I seen y'all in the comment section saying y'all wanted to see the finished product and that I could have just added pictures at the end of the video, but I really didn't realize that the ending part was missing. When I moved the video over from the computer to my phone and uploaded it, the end of the video was still there. All I did was schedule it, the post, and then it was like hours later when I realized that the end of the video was missing. So yeah, next time I'm gonna pay closer attention before I, well, after I upload. All right, so this is the finished product of the house. Um, The only thing that was really missing from that video was when I did this last bedroom and I didn't do too much in here. I just went simple and did a bed, a nightstand, a dresser, and a TV. And I'm pretty sure I added that closet near the beginning of the video. So that was the only thing I added. And I added this laundry room, but that was after this video. That was like when I just got on the game just to play and I noticed I didn't have a laundry room in here. So I went back and added that. But other than that, you guys didn't really miss anything from that video, but me doing that little bedroom. And then I did a little talking at the end of the video, but that was all that was missed from that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope y'all like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. And yeah, more of my videos is linked down in the description and it should be down below, but I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.